jeans that I'm wearing right now cost $20. They are really comfortable, well designed, have pleasant material. And I bought them in the male section. Actually, there have been the same jeans in the female section as well. Same size, same design, same material. But you know why I bought them in the male section? There, they were cheaper at that section. If you shop at any online or traditional street store, you will see a huge range of posters, tabloids, and magazines with gender reference products. Masculine products usually come in black or navy blue packaging with beauty red. If the product have a fragrance, it's usually the muscular scent. Meanwhile, female products are hard to miss. An explosion of pink and white purple was an added dose of glitter. If the products have the fragrance, they are typically something like rose and violet, sweet pea, cherry blossom, whatever it is. While scent and color are perhaps the most obvious differences between products traditionally aimed at men and women, there is another difference, the price tag. And it costing those who buy products aimed at women significantly more. This condition is called the pink tax, and by its definition, the pink tax is the extra amount of money that women have to pay for everyday life products like hair cuts, shampoo, dry cleaners. This tax applies to items that women use for their whole life, from rose toys and school uniform to female hygiene products, clothing, and beauty products. In fact, the New York Department of Consumer Affairs conducted a study that concludes that women's products are typically more expensive without reasonable cost. This research found out that women's products are more expensive on average 7% than men's. The DC study looked at almost 800 individual products selected into 35 categories across five industries. They selected products that were similar in branding, appearance, material, and others. They found out that 42% of the time, women paid more for their products. 40% of the time, prices were equal, and only 18% of the time, men paid more. There are a lot of reasons why the impacts exist, including tariffs, product discrimination, and product differentiation. Social media hashtags such as gender pricing, the pink facts, and ask the pink facts brought the attention to the issue of gender-based pricing. So, my question to all of the ladies in this room is, why should we pay more for the same goods? And what we can do to solve this problem, first of all, support companies that are against the pink tags with general neutral products. Buy more general neutral items. Avoid dry cleaners as much as possible. Price compared while shopping. And the last, the most important, is to talk with your speed representatives, local retailers, and on social media. Say that you are not willing to pay these increased prices anymore. Word of mouth is a powerful thing nowadays, especially among female consumers. And I believe this in turn will help us to reduce the difference in prices for the same goods. Thank you.